right, I want to clear up a little misconception about the safe mode. When you power up the plane and it does its little uh, control surface dance, a lot of people are making the claim that you have to have the airplane sitting flat and level, otherwise uh, the gyro will be centered at an angle and it'll make the plane fly incorrectly. Uh, and that's actually false. The flat and level position is actually programmed into the uh, safe mode in forward programming and that's fixed. So once you set up the plane initially, it's set that way. So if you get a brand new plane and it's still got the locked bind and fly receiver, when you put it in safe mode it's veering one way or the other and there's no wind or anything else like that. Odds are it's because when it was initially set up at the factory, it's slightly skewed. So you may have to actually add some trim and leave it in there, either by sub trim or just leave it trimmed to center it out. Uh, let me demonstrate this for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to power up the plane first, flat and level, like everybody thinks you got to do. Because it's too dense. As you can see, my control surfaces are level. I'm in safe mode. Now when I tip it, it's trying to auto level. Let me see if I can get this in the shot. So if I, if I tip the plane, you can see the control surfaces going down to try to counteract that. But when I have it flat and level, control surfaces is totally flat. Uh, and same with the uh, elevator. Right now the elevator is flat. If I tip it the nose down, the elevator pulls up to try to make me go level. I tip the plane up, elevator goes up you know, or down to try to flatten me out. Let me re-power it up at an angle. I'm going to power it off. I'm going to get it at an extreme angle. So all it's really waiting for you to do when you power up the airplane is for it to not be moving. If I plug it in, but I'm moving the plane around, it's not going to do its initialization. It's waiting for me to stop moving. So let me put it at a harsh angle and then stop moving it. So as it's sitting, it'll do its dance. You see the control service immediately went up to try to level me. When I flatten it out, the aileron is totally level again. If I tip it, it's still trying to auto level me because it has that leveling position stored in its memory. It doesn't have anything to do with the power up initialization. See, it's still waiting for me to be level. So you can see here, there's my aileron. If I'm flat and level, it's flat and level. If I tip it, control service is moving to try to level me. See that? It does not matter which orientation you've got the plane sitting in when you power it up. It just needs to be sitting still. You just can't be moving it. Let me do one more extreme example. Power it up, and turn it upside down. See? I just initialized it completely upside down, just not moving. But still, it's trying to self-level the plane. I got it flipped right side up. It's still got surfaces level. If I tip it, so, anyway, I wanted to clear that misconception up because everybody keeps saying that, but that is not accurate. It's a false statement. So, if you get a new plane and it's veering one way or the other, you're going to have to trim it out. It's, you're not going to be able to reinitialize it sitting on the ground because it doesn't change the programming in the receiver. And unfortunately, with the locked bind and fly receiver, you're not going to be able to get in there with forward programming and make that adjustment. You're going to have to unlock the thing and redo it. So, so hope that clears up some things for everybody. Now, I've showed this in other videos, but uh, so here I am in forward programming. And if you need to correct that attitude, you know, trim, the only way to do it is you go into the gyro settings, go to system setup, go down to safe and panic mode setup, and you navigate to the uh, attitude trim. So right here, the roll and pitch, this is where you can adjust that. So normally when you're setting up the airplane from a safe mode, you, you can capture that automatically by clicking on this level model and capture attitude, or you can manually move those up and down. So, you know, if roll's going one way, chances are, you know, this is moved one way or the other. So you can go the other way. 
but if you just level the model, normally this is done, you know, when you're setting it up, you just set the model on the ground level. That is the only time you've really got to have it sitting flat and level is if you're going to do that uh, function there. So when you level the model, you click on that and it's going to automatically populate these with what it thinks is level. So once you fly it, if it's going one way or the other and there is no wind, you can go in here and tweak those settings. You know, if it's rolling one way or the other, you roll it the other way. Okay. But the initialization, once this is done, is not doing anything to change that. These are fixed once you set up the airplane. So don't take my word for it. Try this on your own. Um, but odds are, if your plane is moving, you know, you take off from the ground, even though it's calm on the ground, you get up in the air 50 feet or 100 feet, there's probably wind up there that's pushing you around. So, you know, there's a good chance that it is level. You know, the safe mode is trying to level you, but there is a little bit of wind up there that's pushing you around. Uh, you can tell that if you fly a different direction and see if it's always going the same way when it uh, turns. So, give that a try, but uh, anyway, it does not matter. I keep saying that, but, uh, you know, I, I, on a lot of the Facebook groups and forums where I uh, frequent, and a lot of people just seem to keep saying that, that you've got to level the plane when you turn it on. You just have to have it not moving. It does not matter. Take a look at it for yourself. Check it. Try these tests I just did in this video. And you'll see what I'm talking about, but uh, does not matter. So, thanks for watching.